Welcome to Eternal Manna, the daily devotional broadcast of Grace Gospel Church. We are looking at Psalm 42, the Depression Psalm. And today we are looking at verse 9. So let me read verse 9. I say to God, my rock. There are many ways uh, as to how uh, David looked at God in this psalm. He looked at him as uh, the living God. He called him God, my savior. He is the God of the waterfalls. And uh, he is the God of the waves. He is the God of creation. He is the God of life. And now David says, God, my rock. So what does a rock signify? Security, stability, strength. And David says, I find security, stability, strength in my relationship with my God. And he had placed his confidence in God, God the rock. But then it almost seems a contradiction. What he says next, verse 9, why have you forgotten me? Why must I go about mourning, oppressed by the enemy? The enemy was relentlessly attacking David. He was given no rest. And uh, David is uh, uh, kind of now very tired by all this. He's weary. And uh, so again, he expresses to God, God, have you forgotten me? And of course, God hadn't forgotten David. Uh, God, uh, David was the object of uh, God's uh, attention and affection. <laughs> How could God forget David? Uh, God had called David. God had anointed David. God had empowered David. God had given uh, David many victories. And yes, he was going through a difficult time. And as the enemy was relentlessly attacking him uh, mentally, emotionally, and even physically, uh, he says, God, where are you? God, why have you forgotten me? And why should I keep on weeping like this? As I go from place to place, God, my only companion are tears. Why am I crying like this? Why am I so heartbroken? And very honestly, he is talking to God. Uh, we can complain to God, but not complain of him. Now, that's a very important statement. I want you to get it again. We can complain to God, but, but not complain of him. And I want to encourage you, yes, take your complaints to God, but uh, don't uh, uh, character assassinate God. Uh, don't uh, run him down as it were. And uh, verse 10, uh, David says, my bones suffer mortal agony as my foes taunt me, saying to me all day long, where is your God? The reproaches of the enemy were like a very sharp sword in his bones, cutting him through. And he felt the deep pain. What a way to describe his pain. Uh, a sword cutting through his bones. <laughs> I mean, just... Uh, uh, talking about it uh, makes me cringe. And uh, David uh, says, uh, the enemy God, they are dishonoring you. They are discrediting you. And they are seeking to discourage me. And that's what the enemy seeks to do all day long. The enemy wants to discourage you. But the enemy also wants to discredit God and dishonor God. And so David is saying to God, God, Look at what the enemy is saying. God, I can't take it anymore. God, why don't you do something? And uh, uh, then he uh, uh, finishes the psalm uh, the way that uh, he had uh, uh, begun. Why, my soul, are you downcast? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I shall yet praise him, my Savior and my God. We have explained that verse to you before. But David again gives himself a good self-talk. He chides himself for thinking the way he's thinking and feeling the way he is feeling. And again, he expresses with great confidence, I'm going to trust in God. I'm going to hope in him. He's my savior. He is my God. So a great psalm for you and for me when we face those uh, 
damaging emotions, uh, but we can come through. The light will shine and uh, God can once again uh, place you uh, on the rock solid foundation of the Lord Jesus Christ himself and use you for his glory. Have a wonderful weekend. Amen. For more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Grace Gospel English Church Toronto. Thank you.